We're going to talk about background editing programs now. Right now, if we go to the edit screen, we can see what the robot is running. I have it running two programs which are being called from this program here. So program is our master and it is calling training and training two. Now this is just for example's sake, um, but to actually open up a background edit program, we go to the select screen, go to this background edit, press enter, and then we pick the program we want to background edit. So let's say I wanted to see this program right here, which is the one that is currently running. We've set some registers, and then we called the programs. Now, uh, we can't really make any changes here and save them because this program is running. This program is the primary program and these are its child programs but you cannot uh, modify the program that is running or the child programs of it if those child programs are currently running. So right here if I wanted to for instance Set register 1 equal to 1 at this time. I can write it out here, but I can't save it. To actually end the edit and save stuff, you have to go to this edit command, end edit. Do you want these modifications which have been edited in the background to be implemented? Yes. I can't do this because this program is currently running. So in this case, I'm actually going to say, no, I do not want to save them. Yes, I want to discard them, and I'm back out. Now, for the most part, you're going to use the background edit function to um, do some minor adjustments in the program or to look up some information on programs while the robot is currently running. If I background edit training right here, which is one of the ones that's being run. It's actually this triangle right here. Training 2 is this bigger uh, triangle. I can actually look at this data right here and let's say, okay, we've run this enough. I actually really do want to make these direct. I already know the values. Let me change this to a double just so we can see this. I already know what the default values are for this and I like the way it's running. So I could ch uh, change this if I want or maybe I just wanted to open this up in order to find out what registers were being used in this program. I now know and I'd be able to adjust them as needed here. But let's say I wanted to change this right here. I have to press speed right there. That's how I was forgetting. I want to make this always a thousand millimeters per second. And I wanted this CNT value to always be 100. I can do this in the background edit. And as long as the current program is not being run, I can save it. So right now it is running training. Right now it's running training two. So in order to save training right here, I have to do it while it's not running that training program. See, right now I caught it when it was running, so it's not going to be able to save. If I say end edit, wait until this program is done, I'll know because it'll be on this line here. It can save it. And now this is going to be going a thousand millimeters per second and have a CNT of 100 right there. Notice we now have that curve. 